दलाई लामा जी जो बोलते हैं वो तो एकदम भारतीय आचार्य की तरह से बोलते हैं वो बड़ा प्रामाणिक उनका कथन होता है और दलाई लामा जी एकमात्र व्यक्ति हैं जो बुद्धिज्म को प्रामाणिक रूप से लोगों के सामने प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं उनके प्रति हमारी गहरी श्रद्धा है और दलाई लामा जी और तिब्बती लोगों ने बुद्धिज्म की रक्षा की यहाँ से तो लुप्त ही हो गया था तो अब राहुल शांकर के आयन और कुछ लोगों ने बंगाल के कुछ विद्वान लोग तिब्बत गए और वहाँ से उन लोगों ने जो तिब्बती ग्रंथों का अनुवाद किया था तिब्बती में कर लिया और उनको अलमारी में सजा के रख दिया संस्कृत के ग्रंथों को लेकिन राहुल शांकर चैन ने और बंगाल के लोगों ने वहाँ जा कर के यदि मिल सका मूल कापी तो ले आए और नहीं मिला तो वहाँ बैठ करके अपना लिख लिया उसका तो और इस तरह से उन्होंने तो भारतवर्ष में बुद्धिज्म का जो विकास हुआ उसमें तिब्बत का बड़ा योगदान है In terms of the conference, I think the significance is, um, you know, it's nice to see a lot of scholars come together. Um, you know, in Tibet, um, many important texts have been, um, you know, we only have them in, in the Tibetan translation um, because Buddhism, um, the big institutions in India were lost um, uh, to, to war, you know, back in the Middle Ages. So. Um, and now, you know, it's a it's a historic opportunity because the the Tibetans are in, are in India, and they've started an institution like this, um, where people are learning uh, learning Sanskrit and, and you know studying texts in, in many different languages. And you have scholars who are who are from many backgrounds, and they're coming together and they're um, engaging in a in a dialogue. So, um, you know, that's something that's uh, pretty pretty special to see. And um, I think it's a it's like something that's just starting, just starting now, and, and you know we're just starting to see the, the fruits of it. Um, you know, or we've seen, you know, we've seen some, and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll see more uh, <laughs> further on. Um, and uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see the scholars kind of talking um, with one another. Um, you know, you see a little bit, even in terms of like, say, if one scholar disagrees with another, then there's a there's a kind of a, a dialectical process that's that's going on where. Um, you know the position. The position is being clarified. So I think it's really when you get people coming together from different traditions that um, you know that, that that you can kind of clarify your, your perspective. Maybe um, you know if you're just in an institution where everybody has the same view and everybody subscribes to the same doctrine, then maybe you don't have the opportunity to challenge your ideas. But here here you do. So um, so it's been yeah, it's been good to see. I am invited for this conference which is uh, organized for the golden jubilee of this institute and the theme that is selected, the mind in various Indian traditions is quite important because as His Holiness the Dalai Lama said in his speech, mind is the cause of all agitations and all the destruction that is taking place. So cultivation of good mind is very much necessary for peace and harmony. It is very obvious that if we have to cultivate our mind, we first know about the mind. And philosophy has done a lot of work in uh, uh, exploring the nature of mind. So the presentation say, today morning about uh, the Vedanta system, Nyaya system, Sankhya system, Jaina system, they are quite significant that they explore the nature of mind from various dimensions. And they also talk about different functions of mind, such as cognitive or uh, emotive, psychological, logical, etc. So if we relate this discussion really to cultivate the mind in the proper direction, as uh, shown to us by the master, it would be really helpful for the entire humanity and the world will be living in peace and harmony. And 
See, all the traditions, whatever we talk about, ultimately is for the human beings. How human beings can develop, how they can be enlightened, how they can be happy and peaceful. Joy, peace and harmony is a crying need of the modern age. We have everything in the world. We have all the gadgets, we have all the advancements of science and technology. We woefully lack mental peace. So the traditions of the world discussion, they come together to say that the fundamental core of it, what in Vedanta we call it, Sarva Bhuta Hite Rataha. Hita means development and the happiness. Sarva Bhuta, all beings, not only human beings, human beings, animals, plant kingdom, the environment, the oceans. If the oceans are not happy, we get tsunami. If the wind is not happy, we get cyclone. <laughs> so they said, Madhuvata Ritayate, Madhukshwaranta Sindhava, in the olden times, everything that will be bliss and happiness should be flow. And human beings, whatever be the tradition, whatever be the thought, whatever be your conception of reality, ultimately converge to the point of human happiness, peace and harmony. Mujikahagatatutsushibuchukuyores,chukuyovinza,ani,nojogutseri Lodjang to and Bombard
你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说啥呢？你说